lost Louisiana will continue down the road less traveled. Across the state, across cultures really, down here Highway 1 is a road well traveled. We're in search of lost Louisiana. Here in the honest and faithful ways of people in harmony with nature is a road less traveled. Napoleonville is one of several towns that will show itself only to the curious traveler. You have to step a block off Highway 1 to really see these gems. They reveal a side of Louisiana that is familiar to natives but strangely quaint to outworlders. The people of Bayou Lafourche can be shy, even distrustful, of outsiders. Maybe they want to preserve an honest way of life before it all flies away. Maybe memories of the Civil War still circulate. Invading Union troops stabled their horses in a church here and used stained glass for target practice. 500 rebels tried to stop 4,000 Union troops at Labadeville. They did not. St. Philomene Church is more than 100 years old. It beckons the faithful with a proudly shining spire. Who were the craftsmen, you wonder? For that matter, where are tomorrow's craftsmen to keep the building skills alive? A mosaic floor without walls or roof is a stage without actors. Why didn't someone preserve the things we expected to find? Old shops and old things. Where are the wooden boats we expected to see here? There are fewer every season. For the good news, we'll take a pause that refreshes in Thibodeau. Well, if you look at it right now, you can go offshore and make a lot more money than working in a, in a, in a shop building a boat. Uh, and things are changing. The, the people want more of the fiberglass and the steel boats than the, the wooden boats. The wooden boat has life in it, whereas the steel boat, fiberglass, and aluminum doesn't. Kenny Abair is a boat builder trying to keep the old boat building skills alive. Since the, the old Cajun boat builders didn't write anything down, about building these boats. There's no written plans, no blueprints, no anything. Well, they couldn't write. And, and they were mostly uneducated. And uh, like the old saying goes, the old dumb Cajun, but they were far from dumb. They had all had uh, master's degrees in common sense. And uh, they built all these beautiful boats uh, with no plans and no blueprints, which is, is a remarkable feat uh, in itself. And that's what we're trying to pass on to these people over here is how to build these boats in the same way that the old Cajuns built them. No plans, no blueprints, you just basically just do it. In a large shed at Nichols State University, he passes on what he's learned from old master builders. Tom Butler runs the Handmade Boat we, Center. We're doing that. If you notice here, we have a boat builder, we have older fellas, and we have a young, a young, uh, about 13 year old. And they've all built the boat. So we're preserving that culture. And, and, uh, uh, and the heritage of wooden boats. The Cajuns worked without blueprints, without modern tools. They are still around in more than old pictures. Their skills are being passed on here to youngsters like Tyler Abair, who built his own pirogue with the skills he learned here. 12 foot, and I painted it green, and uh, went tried out in Bayou Lafourche. And when I got in it, it, when I started paddling it, it took off. I didn't know it'd go that fast. And it's not that heavy, it's three quarter inch. Mm -hmm. And that's all. And it works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you really don't need a plan or a blueprint to do that. You just have to uh, get a little knowledge of what the wood can do and what it can't do. Who'd you learn from? I learned from Raymond Setatall, from Pierre Part, and Alex Gerois from Pierre Part and Rodney Cherami from uh, La Rose and uh, Galliana uh, down the bottom. It's a uh, salt, saltwater Cajun. These skills are not yet forgotten. For the sentimentalist along the route, we are grateful. You'll see men waiting for work by the side of the cane roads. You'll see a man at work on peculiar art, too. Chris Fetch lunges as if he's holding a rapier. With a chainsaw, as Michelangelo supposedly said, he chisels away everything that doesn't look like what he's after. He's after a variety of rough-hewn forms, and he works at it in plain view of passers-by on Highway 1. 
From a high bridge, you can see why boats are essential down here. In an hour's drive, it has become a watery world. The bridges in towns like La Rose aren't faded reminders of a long ago past. They're used by everyone all the time.